Okay. So I've got a small piece here, it's approximately 20 inches, and I know I'm going to do some straight line quilting on it. Uh, that's much easier to do in either the horizontal or the vertical. So I've mounted this piece on the diagonal, which is a little bit unusual um, for this technique. And what I'm starting with is in this complementary color scheme here, I've got the fuchsia and the lime green going. Uh, I want these stitches to show a little bit more, so I'm choosing a, the lime green variegated thread to use on the fuchsia background. And I'm going to be stitching a freehand zigzag line across here to kind of containing these, uh, these shapes here. And then I'll start in with some fuchsia lines which will be straight. Uh, I'm going to start with the green lines because that's going to help stabilize this area of the quilt. And then I'll be stitching, outline stitching in the center. So here we go. I start off by pulling up my bobbin thread. So I've got two, two strands of thread here and I'm going to secure this stitch because I don't want it to come apart. <clears throat> and eventually I'll go back and bury that thread. Freehand. There's no markings here to tell me where to stitch. But I've done this a few times, so I'm looking for kind of a random, spiky look. Kind of chaotic. that again at the end there and I think here you can see, you probably can see pretty well those stitches show up and um, I'm going to do that again and follow this along the diagonal here. I'm going to advance the quilt. And I'll start over here to again frame this kind of a diagonal composition I've got going on. Now, of course, I've tested my thread tension. I want to make sure that the stitches are quality stitches and they're not going to uh, unravel at any point. Quilting stitches are important. They add durability uh, and strength to a piece, which will ensure, of course, that it lasts for a while. I'm trying to decide here what, whether to include these shapes into the uh, stitch line, and I've decided not to. lines in this piece and now I'm going to swap thread colors and start adding some uh, 
fuchsia thread, which will be more subtle, uh, but we're going to add the straight lines in this area.